Hey guys, Jason Scudelari here. In front of me is CPP's all new, redesigned premium tilt steering column for 67 to 72 C10s. And we're gonna get it installed right now. How do you know you got CPP's all new column? Well, it's all in the case. Not only do they redesign the column itself, but they have this hard case that is shipped in, molded to the column and all the pieces inside. Let's take a look. You got your column. Shift indicators, two of them. You got the overdrive for the people who have updated their uh, transmission and who still have their stock one. You got the three speed. You got the bezel for those. Your blinker and tilt levers. Your shift lever. Safety neutral switch. Your wire harness adapter your shift linkage adapter, and then just all the regular hardware you're gonna need. This is complete, ready to go in. So everything you need sitting right here in front of you in this hard box. Let's get it installed. What we're gonna do first is install the safety neutral switch. What that does, it rides back and forth and engages this little tab inside here. So make sure you get that tab inside that notch. It's very important. Once you get it on there, go ahead and feed your two screws on. I'm gonna leave these a little loose. That way when you get in the truck, you can fine tune it once you get your gear shifter all on there. But it does have quite a bit of movement so you can tune that just right. One really important thing to think about when you're installing your safety neutral switch is to make sure your grommet and retainer plate are on this side of your safety neutral switch closest to the firewall. You don't want it on this side because it's not gonna seal anything and you're not gonna be able to get this over that. You'd have to take this off and it's gonna be a lot harder to get this off inside the truck because it is so close to the firewall. All right, so now it's time to install the shift lever. First, you gotta put the spring in. What I have done is I've taken a small screwdriver, pressed the spring over it, and we're gonna install it inside here. It's a little hole in there. Quite easy to do if you got yourself a little screwdriver and then once it's in there you can pull the screwdriver out and that's been installed all right now it's time to install the shift lever this little tab here it's going to go into a little recess down in there and you're going to push the spring in and then lock this down just like so yep and then we're going to go ahead and insert our pin which has got a knurl on the other end, which will press into the column to hold it securely. And then you're gonna tap it. There you go. So now it's time to put our shift indicator in. We got one for just your standard three speed. Our truck has a 4L85, so we're gonna use the overdrive. Once that's installed. This is our pin. Be careful, you know, some people have lost these screws and the ones in the safety neutral switch and have switched them out with longer ones. There are internal parts in there that are moving. So make sure if you do lose one, get the proper size. I'm just gonna turn the lever out of the way so I can get to this final screw. All right, and everything's correct. We'll put this back in park and it should all line up. Just like that. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna install to the column before putting in the car is just the hazard button. Works like it should. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the harness adapter off. Both levers, one for the tilt and one for the blinkers and the shift linkage until we get the column in the car. That way I'm not fighting around them. Uh, the reason I did install the shift uh, lever itself. It's just way easier with this internal spring and having to get that in there and get the dowel through there. So let's go ahead and get this thing in the truck. All right, so it's about time to install this. Just be careful of your wiring. And then once you get the column in, this grommet here is gonna go on either side of your firewall. And then this retainer will hold that in place. And you got another grommet here that goes under the dash. All right, just remember when you are Sticking the column through the firewall, you got your shift lever there, you kind of got to sneak it in there. 
It's pretty easy to do, but just be careful when you're doing it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do before I lock down any of the clamps that hold the uh, steering column securely is I'm gonna get the grommet through the firewall, and then I wanna make sure that my U-joint on my spline shaft in the engine bay is at the right area. Lock that down, and then I can push the column up all the way, because then I'll know I'm in the right location. Okay, with the grommet in place, I'm gonna go ahead and lock down the retaining plate that will hold that grommet there for life. So I got the column centered. Everything looks good from here. Going through the firewall, it's all hooked up to the uh, steering linkage, your spline bar, some use double D shaft, ours is a round spline, uh, to the U-joint. Now I'm gonna go ahead and secure it here, and then we'll move outside and uh, secure it out there. All right, feels good. And we'll come back in and when we're all done, put our cover under there, straighten out that grommet and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna take the bracket, we're gonna get it secured to the firewall and then we'll take the clamp that goes around the bracket to the column and I'll secure it out here. Okay. So I went ahead and secured the column to the firewall with all the stock components after that, I went ahead and got CPP's shift linkage kit. It's gonna come with everything you're gonna need for most GM automatic transmissions. Cut everything to length, adjusted it, it's all hooked up. All that's left is to get the truck off the lift so I can get to the interior side, get the tilt and turn signal levers installed, the wiring, make sure everything's secure, and get the truck out on the streets. So I'm ready to plug in the harness for the column. The column is fitted with the new style GM plug where the truck still has the old style but in the kit comes with the adapter to combine both. Everything just snaps in. We're good to go. I'll go ahead and uh, zip tie this out of the way and kind of clean it up. All right, let's get this tilt in there. Feels nice and smooth. And the turn signal lever. One thing I did notice about this, a lot of times this screw is like a sheet metal screw that goes into the plastic. This one's actually threaded, which is quite nice. So I've always wondered, you know, how does my blinker mechanism return on its own? So you're making your left turn, you turn left, and you go to make your right or straighten out. It's all within the horn mechanism itself, both ways. Turn, turn right, come back to your left, returns. All right, we got everything outside of the hub and steering wheel. Let's go through, everything feels nice and smooth, but one thing I am noticing, the marker on the indicator is a little ahead of itself through each gear, and that's an adjustment down below on the transmission, so we're gonna get the truck back on the lift so I can show you how to simply adjust that. Right now, it's going too quickly, we wanna slow that down a little. All right, so we're down here at the linkage where we can adjust it. And the closer in it goes, the quicker it's gonna go on the column. So we're gonna bring it outward. All right. So the horn ring that comes with your uh, column is for an old style steering wheel or a replica. And we're gonna put more of a modern steering wheel with a hub, so you need to take that off. Put the new horn ring on, which can be purchased here at CPP. Spring, make sure this is clocked in between 10 and 11 o'clock. And go ahead and put your hub on. And we'll secure it. Okay. So the old style, the horn would contact on the bottom there, and then with the push button, this one's got a ground and a hot wire for the horn. Twist locks in there. Go ahead and put our wheel on there. We'll fasten that down. All right, so we're coming to the end of the installation. We're gonna go ahead and hook our horn up. First the ground, and then our power wire. Then just go ahead and carefully route your wires into the hub. 
install your horn button. Beep, beep. Now that I got the new wheel on there, it's a bit smaller than the stock wheel. And one thing I'm noticing is the shift lever is about three inches longer and it still looks good, but we got you covered. We got a shorter one that looks just right. So once I'm 100% on this wheel and I'm gonna keep it, I'll switch it out. Don't be like me and get through the entire install and forget one thing. One of the benefits of this column is it's got an indicator light so you can see it at night. I went ahead and keyed it to the dimmer switch on the headlights. That way I can dim it and make it brighter. So a couple hours of time, some simple hand tools. We got CPP's premium tilt column installed in RC10. And boy, it feels good. You definitely know the quality's there. All that's left for me is hit the road.